Hey everybody, my name is Seth, and today we're going to jump into talking about Rayi, specifically their cloud app and their cloud portal, and some of the features that come along with it, such as guest network and their captive portal. So let's hop into the phone app. All right, now we're in the phone app here. We're going to go ahead and set up a guest Wi-Fi network. What we're going to do is first go into the menus and go to scenario and select guest Wi-Fi. We can go ahead at the top right corner, hit enable. This is gonna allow me to set up the SSID name or the uh, name of the network. Now, if I go ahead and enable encryption, it's gonna require a password. If I disable it, no password required. Or I can go to some advanced settings and limit the band either to 2.4 or five gigahertz. I can go ahead and hit next. This is gonna set up the name as guest Wi-Fi with a VLAN ID. We'll just leave it at 231. It's going to go ahead and put the devices here and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, as you see, the guest Wi-Fi is now enabled and you are all set up and ready to go. Now to set up a captive portal in the phone app, you're just going to go into the settings, go into advanced, scroll all the way down and select captive portal. One other option I do want to mention that you have in the phone app is that search bar in the top right where you can search for a specific tool that you may need. Once you're in the captive portal, you can go ahead and select add policy, policy name, we're just gonna call it test, policy mode, enter, authentication device, either the router or the AP. You can select the network, which is typically going to be a VLAN. You can have a portal escape, seamless online you can enable for an X amount of days. But going down here, you can go ahead and select add page. Once in here, we can go ahead and select a page name. For example, call this testing. We have different login options, such as one click login, account, voucher, or SMS. We're just gonna leave it as one click login. And we can start doing some advanced customizations. So let's begin. The first thing we do is upload a logo. We can upload a custom background. We can even hop into some advanced settings by customizing a welcome message, any marketing messages, any terms and conditions, copyright that you may need. And as you see, we got this fully customized and set up. And of course we can always change as much as we want. Now on the actual cloud portal itself, there is even more customization options that you do have, but this is a very quick and easy way to set up a captive portal here on the phone app itself. Now inside of the cloud portal to set up a guest network, it's a slightly different case scenario. So what you're gonna do is go to the smart config menu on the left hand side, where it says create figuration. You're gonna create a wireless VLAN. I'm gonna go ahead and hit add, add wireless VLAN. And now I can start setting up a Wi-Fi name. We'll call this guest Wi-Fi. And I have an option yet again to encrypt or not. We're gonna select do not encrypt here. We're gonna select next. We're gonna have service remarks, such as just test, or a VLAN ID, we're just gonna put one, two, three. And there's gonna be a default gateway IP address. And we'll leave DHCP pool enabled. This is where you're going to confirm the devices and the addresses here. Now it's applying the configuration. And now, as you see, the guest Wi Fi is all good to go. So I can go ahead and select check network or continue to add. We're just going to select check network. And as you see, the guest Wi Fi is open. Now, to set up a captive portal here on the website, we're going to go down to the authentication and accounts and select captive portal. Add captive portal and we can create a policy name. We'll call this one guest network policy mode, authentication device network. We can select the VLAN that we're applying this to seamless online, the period 
And now we can start actually creating the page and having some nice customizations. So if I add a page, call this one yet again, guest Wi-Fi. We can allow one click login or different types of login options, such as access duration with one click login. We can do a voucher system an account system where they have to actually set up an account, SMS registration, or actually full on registration here. We're just gonna leave it as one click login. You can add a post login URL. And this is where you can start really customizing the entire captive portal. You can go ahead and upload a custom logo. I quickly found one online, so we have that available. We can adjust the logo position. We can make the background a picture or even just set it as a solid color if we wanted to. And we have some options here to change the color. Or we can just simply set it up on a picture. For example, if we were doing a restaurant or something. We can do a background mask color to kind of make it darker. So as an example, if I jump this up to 50%, it's going to be a little bit of a darker gray to overlay it. Whereas if I do it like 90%, it's going to be even more. We'll just leave it at 50%. We can either have the welcome message as text or a preset picture if we'd like. But we'll just have it as text. And then now we can start customizing it even more by selecting welcome text. Any marketing messages. Even set up a terms and conditions or copyright. And then on the login button, we can even customize that as well. And if you really wanted to too, you can even set up advertisement on the login by selecting a picture or a video and how long that picture will display and even set up an option to allow users to skip the advertisement or for you to not do it. And of course, welcome text color, you can customize as well. Let's go ahead and make this a nice purple. Then at the bottom, you'll get more options after that, such as welcome text size, button color, button text color, link color, for example. Here's a little example of what this captive portal would look like. Never said I was much of a graphic designer, but we do have a nice little captive portal that we fully customize and we can view it on desktop as well. You have a ton of options to easily create a nice clean captive portal right here on the cloud.